okay let us discuss how to solve the problem in cfd first we have to create a model using 3d modeling software let us double click this creo parametric here i have to create new in this as a path so let me go for car 45 degree angle uncheck this use default click ok select mmns part solid so we are solving the problem in mm here so now let me create extrude so by selecting the front view i am going for the sketch plane so i already has created sketch views for this uh, creo and uh, creo 45 degree and 30 degree so let us import that so for that you go and click this file system so in here i have just modeled this 45 degree car let me open that let me click anywhere i want so you can able to see there is a icon here let me shift this icon to the end and i'm clicking and dragging and keeping this on the right position the model here is in millimeter but the car model what we have uh, drawn the sketch is in meters so the scale factor is so we have to put a thousand to convert the millimeter to meters so specify thousand then click ok so you will get the model here the entire car model can be viewed here so this one is the model of this car let me click ok so and then you just make a symmetric and give a particular thickness of this once it is ok let me click tick then go to file save as save a copy and then choose igs format specify a particular name so i am specifying some name related to this you may click ok here select as a solid model so select this as a solid model and then export your model so this is the way of uh, first creating the uh, model so once it is created in any three, three dimensional software so the next way is to proceed with uh, analysis let us go for the analysis in analysis first we have to import the geometry in ANSYS and I have to change the analysis setting to two dimensional analysis hope you can understand that the model what we have created is in 3d so that has to be converted to a two dimensional model then only we can able to solve the problem in 2d let us proceed with that so opening my ANSYS workbench so double click this fluid flow fluent here i have to import my geometry right click this create import browse select the model where you have saved first i am going to choose car 45 degree now right click and open this in ansys design modeler you can able to see a lightning symbol here indicating i have to import the geometry select this click generate you will get this 3d model of this but our aim is to solve the problem in 2d so to do convert this into 2d we will go to concept go to sketches surfaces from faces select surfaces from faces select one face of this click apply and then right click and then generate this so now you have two parts here one is a solid model 3d other one is a surface model which is in 2d so the solid model i will right click i will make it as suppressed body so i don't want for analysis the surface model what i am going to choose is here it is indicating what type of model it is it's not a solid you change it to a fluid model select this as a fluid you can able to see that air will be flowing around the surrounding and it will be connecting with respect to this so you can analyze how the car is getting affected or how the velocity of uh, air is flowing along the surface of the car so for that we choose only surface model as it is a two-dimensional problem close this now double click this meshing to open the meshing uh, window to now we are processing on meshing a model and creating a named selection 
So once we double click that meshing window, it opens. There we are going to mesh and we are going to create name selection indicating the boundary condition of our problem. Now you can able to see the model here. So this is our model which is which we have uh, imported. And now what we are going to do is we are going to mesh this model. Let me first click the geometry here. So and check whether it is in millimeters. So the problem is it in meters. Now let us select mesh. So in mesh you can able to see it has to be in CFD preference and the solver has to be fluent. Now what are you going to do? We are going for sizing. Change our adaptive mesh sizing to yes. Let me mesh and see how this meshing is. I click, click generate mesh. If you look at this mesh, the mesh is very coarse mesh. So the analysis is on the surface of the car in the area. So in that case, the mesh has to be more accurate in this particular parts. So let us increase the resolution of our mesh. So go to resolution, increase our resolution from 2 to 4 or 5. Let me right click and let me click generate mesh. Now you can able to see that the meshing quality is much improved but still in the surface so wherever I want along the surface of the car it has to be more accurately meshed. So to do that I am going to create refinement on the surfaces of this. So let me right click the mesh, go to insert, go for refinement, click refinement. Now select the geometry of the car. So to do that selection, I have to go for a edge selection here. Select my edge selection. Now by pressing control, let us select all the edges. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. This 9 edges is the wall of the car. By selecting this 9 edges, I am right clicking it. I am creating this as a named selection. So I am going to call this as a wall. Because then and there we require in selection this particular geometry. So I have to create one new name for this. For that it is easy for me to select it whenever it is required. So create, click create named selection. I will call this as car wall. Then click OK. At the same time. I will click this geometry as OK because we already selected. Let me click Apply. So now since we have created the name selection, the selection process of what we have done is not selected. So instead of geometry selection here, I now I can also go to named selection. Select named selection here. In this, you select that car wall. So automatically that car wall will be selected. And in this, let us increase my refi refinement to 3 or 4. Let me increasing to 3. Right click, let me generate mesh again. So now you can able to see that along the boundaries of the car, you can able to see there are more clear meshes so that you can able to analyze this more clearly. So the analysis will be more accurate in this part. Now, I am going to specify few more conditions. The first I am going to select this edge by edge selection mode. I will select this edge. Right click it. Creating this as a named selection again. I will call this as inlet part. Similarly, this is where my air will go out. So let me select this. Right click. Let me create a selection here. So consider this as outlet. Next, I have these two layers, so on uh, the top and bottom of this, I will select these two, right click and create a selection, I call this as wall. Assume that the car is traveling on a tunnel, so you have bottom floor, which are the road as well as the top of the tunnel, which is the selection, the inlet of the tunnel and the outlet of the selection is called as inlet and outlet. 
and the car wall is also considered as a named selection. So when you click the named selection, it should have four parts indicating car wall, inlet, outlet and wall. So this is my step of creating the model first. Once it is done, let us close this. Step three, I have to set up the boundary condition in the fluent analysis that we go for the fluent and let us set the boundary conditions. Update your mesh, double click the setup. When I double click the setup, you have to see that the dimension is in 2D. So because we, we have uh, suppressed our three dimensional model, so the dimension, it has to be analyzed in 2D, it has to be selected. If it is not so, what we can do is we can select this fluent, right click this, we can go to properties. Here you have analysis type, which will be enabled as 3D and 2D. You have to select this as a 2D. Since we suppress the model and the our model is only having a two dimensional model, the item here is not showing here. Let us click this double precision for more accurate results. Let me click OK. Now you can able to see some windows. The first window is a task window. How the solver has to be solved. So we are concentrating on pressure based solution and the time is a steady state time. So without any issues in this. And if we want, if you have gravity, you can enable this. So now for our condition, we are not going to involve on gravity. Let's go to outline view. Click the outline view tab. Here you have a set of setups which you have to be concentrating on. First thing is models. Select the model. So you have multi-phase. Multi-phase means if you have two different phases, like solid and a liquid case, then we can use this multi-phase. Next is energy. So whenever you have thermal analysis, we have to click on this energy. Then this laminar or viscous flow. In our case, we are concentrating on a turbulent flow. So double click this lab, viscous laminar, double click this. Change your setting to K epsilon model. The K epsilon model is a turbulent model where the air will be flowing in a turbulent way. And click OK. Now it has been converted to a turbulent flow. The next thing is material. In our case, we are not, we are concentrating only on air. So no need to worry about the material. When you select the material, it is in fluid. It is already in air condition only. So default fluent analysis will take air as a material property. So if I double click this, it opens the window indicating your data. So if you want to change the data, we can able to change with respect to these things. Next thing is our cell zone. Cell zone is this zone, whichever is in, in green color. So that has to be indicated in what fluid it is. When I double click it, it has to be in air condition. So it is in air only. So there is no change in it. If we have to change this cell zones, we can also change it. So in our case, it is in air. The next is boundary condition. Let us go to boundary condition. So our boundary condition is only inlet velocity. So the car is moving at 80 km per hour. If I convert it into meter per second, it is around 22.22 meter per second. So the velocity inlet, what I am going to specify is 22.22 meter per second. So if the value is not showing as velocity inlet, select it, right click and change your type to whatever the type required. So already it is in velocity inlet. I am not going to change this. Just double click this velocity inlet. In this velocity inlet, it is asking what is the velocity magnitude. So our velocity magnitude is 22.22. So specify that value and then click OK. So similarly, the inlet is in velocity, outlet should be an atmospheric pressure, so which is pressure outlet. So when you go to outlet, it has to be pressure outlet. When you double click this, so it is in 
gauge pressure is zero indicating that there is no difference in pressure the gauge pressure is difference in pressure so no difference in pressure which is in atmospheric pressure so without any thing we can close this so only change what we made is this velocity invert we specified what is the velocity with respect to this now let us go below here in solution i out identify what is our drag coefficient so because the drag coefficient deals with whether you have air resistant or not higher the drag coefficient indicates higher air resistance so let me double click this report definition in this we may create new so i am going to create a force in that i have to go for a drag force drag force is the force which is having resistance lift force is to lift it so which is applicable for uh, aerofoil type of simulation in our case let us click this drag force drag in the drag i have to select car wall because that is the where i am going to identify my drag coefficient select car wall give the name accordingly so this is drag car force specify a name according to this and then click ok so one is added which is drag force let me click close now i have to initialize my solution initialization is what where you have applied the boundary condition so i apply boundary condition in let so go to standard initialization in this it is asking where you have to compute from so since i applied boundary condition only in inlet let me select this and then click initialize once the solution is initialized let us go for run calculation let me double click this run calculation in this we have a number of iterations so you can increase the number of iteration let me give 500 iterations specify 500 and then click calculate so here you can able to see that even though we run our calculation so for 500 iteration so the solution stops at around 55 iteration itself indicating that we have already achieved that particular um, residuals which means uh, the answer or there is a forced convergence with respect to this so we we can able to get that automatically the solution stops in that so in the console we can able to see that it is run up to 56 and the solution is converged so once the solution is converged let us go to our let me close this now let us check our drag coefficient what is the value of our drag coefficient let me go to report definition we have drag car force double click this now click compute in this let me click compute on the car wall so this value will be shown in the console so you can able to see that the drag car wall drag coefficient is around 241.04 so we have to verify the same to the other model which is 30 degree car model and you have to identify whichever is maximum will have higher car resistance when uh, when we compare with the other one so for now this analysis is only for 45 degree angle let me close this let us go for our post processing to check our other results step 4 is solving the problem along with step 3 we also completed step 4 by solving the problem and analyzing our drag coefficients so the last thing is viewing the results step 5 viewing the results now double click your results so now you can able to see that this window shows for reviewing the results it shows all the models here whatever which is created by us first we will go for a contour plot let me click this contour icon so i'm going for a velocity plot let me type velocity 
Let me click OK. So in this, the location what we have to choose is our symmetric location. So you can able to see the location which is in green color. Select that particular location. So variable what we are concentrating is velocity. Select velocity as a variable and then click apply. So by clicking on the axis, the model will be straightened and you can able to view the model in more accurate value. So the number of contours here is 11. Let us increase it to 20. Let me click apply. So you can able to see that. So we have more accuracy in this results. Let me zoom in. So now you can able to see that. So the velocity, there is a high velocity on the top layer. And you can able to see how the velocity is varying with respect to this. So at the back side of the car, you can able to see that there is no velocity of R. So which means there is a vacuum which is created on this particular regions. Same thing I can also view for pressure by creating a new one. So let me uncheck this velocity now. Let me create another contour. Name it as pressure. And click OK. So now the location is again symmetric location and my variable is a pressure now. Let me click apply with respect to this. So you can able to see here you have higher pressure on the uh, front of my front of our car similarly near the uh, where you have bend so the bending locations you have higher pressure when compared to the pressure on the other directions so you also have a negative pressure on this layers which is creating a small uh, vacuum like thing so where the air is not flowing with respect to that now let us go for streamline con uh, value. So let us view in streamline. Let me click this particular icon streamline. So this is velocity streamline. So velocity stream. In the velocity stream, we start from inlet. So inlet and let us give this number of points to 250. Let me click apply. My variable is velocity. So you can able to see how the uh, stream is formed with respect to this. When you go below, you can able to see that the direction of the stream is only forward. You change it to forward and backward. Let me click apply. So this is the stream which is coming from the inlet. So if I increase the value of this, so instead of 250, if I change it to 500, if I click apply, you have more streams which is developed on this particular area. So instead of starting from inlet, if I change it to symmetry, you can able to see that what is the, what is actually happening here on the back side of the car. So indicating how the air is getting affected in the particular area in this. So let us go to inlet. Now to animate this, we can also click this animation. Yeah, velocity stream animation. So reduce our frame to slow let me click play so this is the R content which is moving along this so you can able to see that the size of the air is very the, the ball is very large so let us concentrate on that let me to reduce the size of the ball let's click this arrow button go to options in this, you have a size of the ball which is indicated here. Change it to 0 0.1. We click OK. Now, if I just run the system, 
you can able to see the air flow so now our aim is to identify only these two plots one is a pressure plot on the car so how we value with is with respect to that next is the velocity plot in the car so how the velocity is flowing through that and then the drag coefficient which we identified in the work in the, in the flow and software so the same analysis has to be done again by creating another fluent file so let me double click this change it to 45 degree car and this one is for 30 degree car so repeat the same process for the same analysis identify what is the drag coefficient so we, we know that the drag coefficient will be lesser when compared to 45 degree angle car so once we identify we can analyze that so there is a resistance higher resistance in 45 degree angle car when compared to 30 degree thank you